What's up, everybody? It's your boy T Fields here, aka Thug Geek, here with Kimiko and our special guest Yoshi. This is, this is season two, episode seven of Blurred Suit. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what you what you currently up to, Yoshi? Explain to everybody who you are, what you do in this realm of blurdom. Well, my name is Yoshi, the Cat of the Hat. Um, I have the Cat of the Hat that can rap, or the Cat with the top hat in the trap. Strapping young gentleman, about 6'3", in the musical career business of business careers. Yes, yes. Um, yes, yes. I, I find my time and spend a lot of my time traveling the world, grabbing a microphone in hand while displaying my wonderful message to the land. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. And what is that message? Because you probably were probably one of the first, like, nerdcore rappers that really lets really into it that genre. So explain that for us. Well, I, I won't say that I'm the first, but I like to represent it hard and I don't tend to switch up despite what the opposition might say. Yes. Does it matter what the ops say? We stay strong and the message is be you no matter what the conditions or situation. Be happy that you are you and embrace every bit of you. The flaws and all, not just the great times. But the dark times, for the dark times help you appreciate the light times. Yes, yes, yes. And so I know you got another album getting ready to drop up here. So tell about what the upcoming album that you're working on, man. Let's get into wait, that. Wait, Paul, wait, no albums. I ain't put out an album yet. I'm just going <laughs> to say that. All record. right. Don't put body counts on me, sir. Don't put those bodies on me. So you consider them mixtapes? I'm working, I'm, I'm working on an album. Okay. It's going to be coming soon. It's called Legend of the Man in the Mitch Matt Shoes. It's going to come out with a comic book. So you basically, you're but, the Jay Electronic of the Nerdcore rapping world. That's how I feel. Like, everybody's just waiting for that album to drop. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't it ain't dropped yet. I've been spending, I spend a lot of my time trying to figure out a formula that worked best for me mm -hmm. and the content that I provide. You know what I'm saying? So there was no, like, album yet. I'm in the process of starting to write one mm -hmm. because I really don't write my music. So, like, my album, I'm going to write that. And that's for sure. It's going to be all you, no special features, it's all you? My album, yeah. I can't put I can't put features on my album. Roger that. Any... Well, it's just because what my about album is written. I'm having China, Clint Tracks, Bass and Perp, Morgan Garcia. Them pretty much the producers I'm working with. Nice. I've been working with them for the longest. So I'm, I just like working with them. I mean, because your beats is always fire, man. You always got fire beats. Man, look, they understand. They bang, understand bang, 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 bang. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bass and Perp. And that was one of the first, like, real big bangers we did. Man, I love real that good, song. Man. I love that song. That song's got so much energy. That song, that song reminds me of the Gal theme. Like, you can be having a bad day, you throw that on, it's over. I get your energy back. <laughs> yeah, but see, we are, you know, I did a song off the Gal theme, though. Really? I never, yeah. I'm mad I never heard of it, because that sounds hype, man, because the Gal theme is my go-to. Like, anytime I'm upset. Yeah, so, um, God Bless America. It's called American Dream. Mm, that sounds perfect with the Gal theme. Yeah, yeah, start out. I'm telling you, you can't be mad Sonic, listening to that. You can't. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic, boom. I mean, you you messed with Street Fighter then, right? Who you playing with? Because I mean, because I know we played a couple times, mostly checking. And I I, I scraped that. No, he didn't. Boy, he, tried. he, tried. Oh. he saw my king and felt fear for the first time in his life. <laughs> I, I'm so talking about. He whooped me a killer instinct, though. I will give you that. You raped me a killer instinct. You destroyed me in that. It was, it was over with. Like, but you know, you see, I fight, bro. It just, I don't know, you know. But it, it, well, tell me, give me a street fighter, and I can tell you who I run with. I can tell okay, you. Okay, so you know, I know with me, I'm going with third strike off the bat. Third strike. She fought okay. third strike. So if we are doing third strike, I got about three players. We okay? talking about? Give me Dan. Sakura and Ken. You talking about that's Street Fighter Four, huh? I'm talking about Street Fighter Three. That's you talking about Street Fighter Four. 
Yeah, third strike. Dan and them are in it. Dan is this is this when they're older. So it's got nah, like but three... Shakur, Shakur in third strike though, ain't she? No, no, she in four. She in four and she in alpha. Wait, then who do? Well, the, I know I play with Ken. I play with yeah, Ken Ken's in, Ken's in, yeah, Ken's, yeah, he's top tier in, in third strike. Oh, uh, you know, I think I might be thinking Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah, you literally named Alpha Alpha. Alpha two was off the hook. Yeah, Secure was a beast in Alpha two. My favorite one is Street Fighter Alpha three. Yeah, three was solid. Yeah, I was I was a Karen player. I love Karen. That's my that's my girl. I only like Ryu in three because they allowed you to change his his different forms, and I thought that was cool. Um, the Digi Tackle. You need, I, know you, I know you play Tekken because we definitely play a lot of games with Tekken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those times. A lot of victories. <laughs> I remember a lot of victories. Man. Just get destroyed with my kid. I did definitely was not. You might have been destroying the room, but not me. <laughs> I pun. I'm a punisher, bro. I'm so a punisher, your, who, who do you usually play with in Tekken too? Tekken Seven. Who's your who, who's your who's your main? Oh, Tekken Seven. I'm gonna play with a couple characters. I'm one of my main ones is Jack. Alyssa, yeah, Lily. Yeah, her mix ups are annoying. I hate Lily so much. Lily, but she's solid though. She's super solid. She is, and her mix ups are so crazy, bro. Because yeah, she got fake out and everything. Yeah, I know. I can always get hit by it. You yeah, think you're going no, it's... <laughs> so fucking annoying. Like you see, you going low, and there's a high, and there's a mid. It's like, uh, and then plus you always try to go for the parry too. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's that. If we go on retro, then you got to give me um Law, Lin Shao Yu, and Eddie. Really, Eddie, Christine Monter Monterio, always good characters. Always annoying. Yeah, I like. Well, if we got to pick between Eddie and Christina, I like Christina. Christina is faster, but yeah. she don't hit as strong. No, Eddie hit hard. <laughs> Yeah, Eddie, he he catch you with that that knockout, especially when you charge up to the little, the green unblockable joint. I don't know the name of it, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about. Where he be like, mm -hmm. right, Bow. that that that's some power right there. The Christina one, it just kind of stun you. It don't it don't knock you back and make you fly. Right, so you can go to a combo too. Combo starter. So yeah, so back to so back to your music scene, man. So you got like a so I know you got like a little broken tour going on. Tell us what that's going on. Oh well, I I started um in December. I started in Florida, and we pretty much going up the East Coast out to LA. Right. We, we just did New York. We're going back to New York on the 18th. And actually, hold on, I'm pull up the whole. I'm pull up the schedule for you because it was, it's 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 been it's more cities than I expected, and it was a pretty good uh, thing. Uh. Right, because yeah, I'm gonna say because because you just did a live show too, or a streaming show, didn't you? Yeah, we it was in Canada for the Northern Touch Music Festival. It was supposed to be an in person joint, but with the COVID, they had to turn it into like a streaming. That's still festival. dope, though. Yeah, it's gonna kind of kind of block this out again, unfortunately. Thanks, COVID. Yeah, we got um, in East Village in Brooklyn. Um, this weekend we got two private sessions. Um. One gonna be at the Social Butterfly, but that's a uh, that's a, a private session. Then we're gonna be at Mirrors on Grand. That's a pop up joint. Nice. Um, we got a mansion party in Westchester, Ohio. Uh, the Mad Frog, Gainesville Civic Center, North Carolina Rose Bar. Got a couple of private sessions in Atlanta, which is kind of listening sessions for the new project and some nice. records that I did with some pretty cool people that. If you're there at the sessions, you'll know who these cool people are. Right. But it might be some of your favorite peoples. I mean, you got some key name drop a little bit? And is, is anybody I know? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, right now, I can't just because the situations. And, um, yeah, we don't want to avoid any contracts. contracts yeah, just just working contracts and stuff. So are, are we ever going to get like a Yoshi Unplug, like an MTV style where you got your, your sitting back chilling, just busting some flows? I always bust flows. I'm finna start back my rapidy raps, man. Yes, I remember that on Instagram. That was fantastic. That was a great thing. Every did. night, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna start back, but I, I I used to do them a lot before I got on the road and stuff. Yeah, and it was just kind of hard to be able to manage them because my schedule start being like up and down. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, when the schedule like being up and down and I start being on the road a lot, then being on planes and then I'm in the car. So I'm trying to get sleep. So it just kind of be hard to do them while I'm on the road. I started them back during the COVID times because yeah. everything slowed down for a minute. But I think I'm going to bring them over to Twitch and start twitching them. Yes, because you just they recently just became like, affiliate on Twitch, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm on the road to being a partner. I got all the other requirements down mm -hmm. except for the 25 hours of streaming in 12 days. I jump to it. Make it easy to do that with Pokemon. And with nah, it, it, Breath of the Wild, too. Yeah, but see, I don't stream that. I want to stream that, but I got to get a video capture card. I didn't know that. It kind of pissed me off. Unless you're streaming straight from the PC, you don't need all that. But if you're streaming from a Switch, you got to get like a capture card or Elgato to connect that up. Yeah, but I could, I can't play. I'm not going to play Breath of the Wild on a PC. That's just too much stuff to do. It's just a lot of extra downloading and other programs. And yeah, I mean, all you do. So what you do is you just grab an Elgato, connect it up, connect to your PC, and you can just play from the Switch, and you're good to go, man. Oh, yeah, see, there goes that Elgato thing again. It just keeps on coming up. Seems like it just can't escape that thing. <laughs> I was, I had. It's a good capture I, card, I, man. It's a great capture card. I just like playing with, because, I mean, I, I've been playing on the Series X, so I just go right. to Twitch from there and stream straight from the exactly. box. Exactly. Like, you're good to go. You, so what games I'm you playing? Guy. What games you playing on Right now I'm doing Rocket League. Okay. Um, you have Game Pass? Yeah, come on, bro. Hey, I'm just asking a question, fam. Cause we, I ain't seen you on Halo yet. That's why. Uh, no, bro. I've been playing Halo. I was playing Halo before they, they before they dropped the whole game. Halo is out and it's fantastic. Halo gears Halo. everything. I, I I ain't gonna lie. I can't. Gears kind of lost me, bro. Oh, I agree. Gears Five is trash. That's why people are like, dude. How can you? I mean, I used to play literally professionally with Gears, and I just I really feel like Gears turned into a money grab game, and it wasn't been like it wasn't a cool money grab. Like, yeah, you can, like you can, you, can, you make agree. me play for skins. I don't want to fucking play with different. I don't want to freaking play with different skins. But you love Fortnite, though. That's what Fortnite is. Yeah, but I don't really like Fortnite. Is a different kind of game. It it's ain't literally. Serious. It's literally made by the same company. Gears used to be. Yes, but it's not as like to me. What's the name is a serious game. Like, Gears is a serious game. It's know, dark, it's, it's gritty. It's like, yes, garage. Right. Get in you here, command. Like, you know <laughs> right. like, it's, right. it's a serious game. Like, you be, when they be get, especially when you playing Horde on, they go max level, and yep. then they all start coming out of, boom, raw. Like, bro, you, uh, yeah. that's a serious game. Fortnite, it, get, it can get serious when people start build mastering and stuff. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, but it's a it's a fun, comical, playful game. So it's like I, I can. See I refuse to play it. I refuse to play it. Then you got to remember, like I'm I'm used to playing like Gears Three. That's one of my favorite yep. gears. I, I, it is the it is the best gears. Like no, dude, it's the best gear. You know what I'm saying? Give me cold train. Give me cold all day, bro. <laughs> Woo! I'm you know in the zone, baby. Yes, I completely agree. Uh, bro, and that and it start like they started doing too much. Like you want me to tell you what gears reminded me of? It kind of reminded me of like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, like the storyline. It just started jumping all over the place. And you thought his dad was dead. Now his dad ain't dead. And it's a twisted turn over here. Then right. he had a daughter. Then his daughter took over. Now well, she the cat. Well, that the one thing about gears, about gears though, Dom is dead. Dead. Dom ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Dom be making me mad in the when you be playing when you ain't got nobody to play for him. Yeah. Cause sometimes when you be playing on like uh hardcore and stuff, he just be running out to <laughs> Come save like, me. Say no. Like, no, bro. And we like, yes, yeah, what are you doing, Dom? But you gotta save him because if he died, a mission over. It's horrible. Exactly. Exactly. It's horrible, bro. He used to make me mad. I'd be like, Dom, sit your butt down, <laughs> right, man. Exactly. Right, it's not like Mass Effect where you actually have like control over your characters and stuff. Yeah, oh, that. bro, I love Mass Effect, man. Same here. You know the I Legendary Edition is available now, too, to download. They, they got the Legendary Edition. They get all three games. Yeah, but I ain't... It's free. Is it it's free game to pass. download? Yeah. Oh, it's free? Yeah. Oh, okay, I wasn't going to buy it. I ain't going to lie to you. I bought all it. These I love Mass Effect, man. That's my... I feel you, but all these reboots and stuff be making me mad, like... 
That San Andreas reboot, it made me mad, bro. What did they do to it? They ain't even do nothing. It yeah, like it's a rematch. It. But that's the thing, yeah, though. Bro. Like, why don't they bring back games like Manhunt and Bully Remastered? That's the thing. Like, like give us games know, that, like, where's Midnight Club 3 at? Where's Midnight, Club, where's Midnight Dub Edition at? That was the best. See, Midnight bro, Club. that's 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 the game, bro. It was the game. It still is the game. Bro. Bro, Midnight Club, bro. Then the Dub Zero, right? Get exactly. The big rims with the with yep. the with the uh, helicopter, the wheels keep spinning. Everything. And then the soundtrack was dope too. Doors. Yep. Then, uh, but you want me to tell you what dub I like the best though? That I liked over Midnight Club's dub edition. Yeah. Need for Speed killed the dub edition, bro. Need, yeah, Need for Speed Carbon killed everything. Need for Speed Carbon is my favorite Need for Speed. It was just amazing. Carbon. Yeah. Uh... Carbon was dope. Carbon was every. It gave you the story, dude. The race that you start off with the race no, down the hill. Wait, Carbon was the one where you was an undercover cop, right? No, that's underground. Carbon was just like Which? the Fast and Furious series. It was like Tokyo. Oh, Dream. okay. You had to battle the people. Exactly. Like you literally start up in a battle race right in the beginning. Yo, it was this other game that I oh, I can't even remember the name of it. It was Tokyo something. On PlayStation, it was like it was kind of like the Need for Speed nowadays. You could challenge racers, and you gotta like race your way up and like challenge different factor factions and stuff, and and you gotta like beat the Big Twelve. It was like Tokyo something. I don't know why. Ah, oh, it's killing me. It was on PlayStation Two. It's one of my ah. Uh, nah, no, I mean, nah, I think it might be Tokyo Racers. I don't know. Wait, I don't. Okay. I can't oh, right now. Huh? You said it was on PS2 too? Mm, I can't yeah. See it, it was on PS2. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Tokyo Extreme Racer. See, I knew it was called. Yeah, I knew it was right. Yeah. Bro, that was my demi jam, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. So, was the PS2 your favorite generation of gaming? Because PS2 got a lot of good games, man. They had a lot of good yes, games. Yes, but it, it's not my favorite. What's your favorite then? I mean, Nintendo 64 is going to always be my favorite. Uh, 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 Look, uh, I was stuck in between. I was stuck in between PlayStation, keeping my PlayStation 2 or 64, and I had to let the PlayStation 2 go, buddy. Really? So what's your top yeah. five PS? So what's your top five 64 games then? Top five. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. We got to count that as one game. Don't okay. count it as two. All right. Um. Of course, GoldenEye, bro. That's of that's course. the game. That, All right. That's the game that got me into in the um shooting. Um, um, Bomberman sixty four. Ooh, I, I give you credit on that one. I give you a lot of respect on that. Go ahead. That, that was one of my like, bro. It was a really challenging. I love game, Bomber, I love Bomberman. Bomberman is yeah, super it, smart game. Yes, it, it it for when I first was playing it, I was playing it retarded. I'm like. <laughs> I put the bomb here. I'm blowing it up. What's going on? Like, and then I'm like, no, you got to like strategically plan this stuff out. Like, exactly. Bro, is, it's like chess. Yeah. They like chess. Um, um, dang on. What's that game? The Crystal Shards. Okay. And Super Smash Brothers. That's not my bad list. I, I respect that. I respect it a lot. That's a, that's a pretty good Kirby list. and the Crystal Shards changed my game. Like at first, uh. Mario Kart was in that place, but then when they came out with Crystal Shards, bro, mm -hmm. I was like, bro, this is Kirby on a whole new level, bro. Let's yeah. do it. I'm, I'm yeah. very shocked you didn't say Mario 64. That's always in everybody's top 10. See, top it, it was, it like, I like Yoshi's story more than I like Mario 64. Yeah. That makes sense. Honestly, me personally, I was a Banjo Kazooie person, man. I love Banjo Kazooie. So I do like them, but yeah. what we really just liked it for was the multiplayer. Mm. Like the true, multiplayer, true. the multiplayer turned out to be better than James Bond. But nah, James man, nothing, Bond nothing beats slappers only. Nothing beats slappers only, dog. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Because then you can play with the Jinjos and all of that, bro. Yeah. And that, that that changed the game. But I'm saying, like, the multiplayer for for Banjo Kazoo Banjo Tui yeah. was more chaotic than than Goldeneye. Mm. I'm surprised and you didn't say Star Fox though either, man. I love Star Fox, bro. The other the other like the other James Bond games kind of sucked. They all sucked. Like, Nothing. Every and that's the problem. Nothing will ever compare to Goldeneye. Nothing. <laughs> 
Go Night is like, the top tier for FPSs, period. Bro, you would think with the better graphics and stuff, you would have, like, way better games, but they just, like, fell off. Yeah. And I love James Bond, bro. My old, like, my my play, my Xbox account to this day is on my email, Blue Spy Man 007. That was my, <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> dun, 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 I was like, dun, yeah, bro. Dun, 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 so who did you play in Go Night? Who was your character? I job. I was Boris. I always picked Boris. Hey, I I, I like our job. Our job was my guy. Yeah, we always banned him in the tournament to play. We always banned him because he dodged the bullets. Why? He, he actually got, but he he got a disadvantage and an advantage. It's easier to headshot him in most cases at a long distance, especially if you're doing um if you're playing on a high level. Yeah, one shot to the head is an automatic kill. Don't matter how many shots you shoot. So no one, yeah, no make the cheap cheap character sound easy. Like no, no, it's it's still hard to kill that too. <laughs> no, I mean if you know if you know how to sidewalk with the seeds and the corner <laughs> cut, you know what I'm saying? Where you uh, 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 that dude, uh, uh, literally you go to shoot the heel, walk right past like nah, bro, nah, bro. Look, you hitting them corners forward, uh, hit that corner. He just he he he, he just drifting. Now, if you're doing that, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing that, you the man. You know, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, they're my favorite Nintendo 64 games. Favorite PlayStation games going to always be Tekken. Mm -hmm. That was like Tekken Tag, actually, was the first big Tekken. Like, because I was playing Tekken at friend's house, but when I first got a PlayStation 2. Yeah, Tekken Tag tournament Tekken was all about Yep, It was all that. Was, I, I, I played the shot of that. I was playing that. Right. Bro, it blew my head with the tag team. Like you get Jim and uh, yep. June, and then they do a tag team moves together and stuff. And I'm like, yep. whoa! You know? yep. And then like the the intro is what got me. Like because I first put it in, you know, too. Right. <laughs> then, <laughs> Plus, Tekken always had good music too. Tekken always had solid music. Oh no! As soon as it come on, do yep, do do. Dude, that was always dude. banking her wrong. That was all, and then, or Armor King and King. That's all. I mean, oh yeah, see, and that's why you trash, man. That's why I want trash. They're like grabbing people and throwing them. I'm yeah, always I'm just, the that's why you trash. See, and I will dust you. And I, I'm gonna just keep on dusting you. I mean, we can get on live right now. We can hey, live. I, it's right, right here. Now. It's literally right here. We can go. I love the Virtual Fire. I mean, I'm doing, I do. Like it's always been whoop. I've always right, liked the see, Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter. You get me. Virtual Fighter. You got a good game. You got a good thing going on. Virtual Fighter. Yeah. And um. What was the other fighter? Dead or alive? Yeah. You might got some you got you might got some moves right there. You might yeah, dead or alive I play with Tina. I play with I said another wrestler. Third strike is Hugo. Zangief. I mean I like I like throwing people. I like tossing cat. Yo, you know what I learned? You know um real is Ninja Gaiden real? Yeah, it's the same person, real high booster, yeah. Nigga, I it blew my mind when I figured that out. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It's the I'm same like, person. Why are you over here fighting? You got fiends and stuff to kill, bro. Plus, you want hey, why to you in this you tournament for? Like, why are you in this tournament? I feel like they ripped off Devil May Cry. No, yeah, no, Devil May Cry ripped off of that. Ninja Gaiden came out first. It's been on since the eighties. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden yeah, came but first. The, the Devil May Cry wasn't that a um? It was an anime or a manga first, wasn't it? Mm, it was. It was a game first. Because De Devil May Cry was actually supposed to be Resident Evil 4, and it became Devil May Cry. Hmm. Yeah, man. I, I, I got well, to... I, yeah, I mean, it's Capcom, so that. I can see that. It's a Capcom, it's a Capcom, so I can see that. Hold on. Hmm, Devil May Cry. Yeah, Devil May Cry is my shit. I love Devil May Cry. Dante is one yeah. of my favorite characters. Yeah, but see, I heard that, though. I heard that story. And you can kind of tell by Dante's character. He kind of looked like he could be Chris. Yeah. And he was. He, That's what I'm saying. he was literally Chris character model. And it's like, yo, this game is going a whole other place. And that's and it became Devil May Cry. I like that. That's Devil May Cry is one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games. Yeah. Devil May Cry, Final Fantasy 10, Metal Gear Solid 2. Like, I man, PlayStation 2 has some real good games, man. Real now, I ain't even finna lie to you. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, Metal Gear series. Really? No. I Why was not? more Final Fantasy. Which was so what's your favorite Final Fantasy thus far? You already know, I don't even gotta say it. Eight? 
Oh, no, nah, I see. You said the wrong one, bro. That, that is the best one. Come on, now. That's the best. You ask me what's my favorite one, it's going to be eight. That's not the best one. Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to say The one I it. actually finished all the way was number nine and number four. Uh, partially a number four. Nine was good though. I like nine. Nine was because Vivi's my favorite black maid. Mine was seven. Ugh. Oh, of course, everybody like right. Seven. Every everybody like seven. Everybody like number seven. Seven was. I'm seven. sorry. I, mean, bro. I like Sephiroth. Sephiroth, he's a great villain, but it's way better villains out there. It ain't about Sephiroth. It's the story. But it is though. It is about Sephiroth and his mother. No, I know, but it's the story and how everything turned out to be. All right. It's basically Cloud is living Zack's life. That's literally the basis of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, because Zack died and gave him the sword. <laughs> <laughs> that, you carry this on. Carry this big ass Buster sword. And they and mess the and chick Zach I like. Died. Zach died because he was being a punk. Because he didn't want to live that life. That's why he wouldn't be a soldier no more. But he literally died saving Cloud, though. He literally took a bullet to the head to save Cloud. And Cloud just, I don't want to do it no more. I'm quiet. Like, even like, he didn't, Cloud never said anything. He just dot, 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 dot. Oh, I know Tifa. Dot, dot, dot. And Tifa, she's savage. I mean, she's one of the best brawlers. I agree. She's literally one of the best brawlers, man. She's fantastic. But, you know, you can't... She real hard to get on a party, though. Yeah, it depends how you roll it. Because I always mess with... For me, it was always Cloud, 13, and Tifa. And then I rotated Tifa between Barrett and, and um, sometimes Yuffie. But then Aerith as well, too. But I just like Red 13. Red 13 was just my dude. Yuffie is one of my favorite characters, though. Have you played the updated version yet? The remake? I don't got a PlayStation. So you're an Xbox guy now. I was trying to say you're an Xbox person now. In the war, yeah, in the game wars, it's PlayStation. <laughs> it's Xbox and um uh, it's Xbox and, and, and Nintendo over here, boy. So you must have been real good to see that Xbox bought out Activision Blizzard and that all those all those games are now theirs. You see, PlayStation fans got real quiet about that. They got super quiet. It was like, man. I'm gonna tell you why. What's that? Because PlayStation fans realize, dang, I might we might have to buy an Xbox now. Dang it! But if but think about that real quick though. Think about it. you got your Xbox Series X too, right? You got one as well, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. As soon as you connect it to the internet and you have Game Pass, you're ready to go. You got Halo, bro, right? You got ten games. Bro, you got, literally, literally got ten. You get way more for your money. Than you do on PlayStation, exactly. Like, like sadly, like, like for example, like PlayStation now is not that good. You're getting a bunch of old games. I'm not gonna pay you. Yes, and it's and they don't even come because like play, Xbox come out with day ones on the Game Pass. Like, like, like literally, like last week the Rainbow Six came out. It's already on Game Pass. Or um, uh, Back for Blood. Yep. Are you who do you who do you play with in Back for Blood? Who's your character? I love Mom. Mom is my character. Sadly, I haven't played it yet. What? I'm sorry. It's fun. I mean, Kimba actually just played it. It's, it's fun. I'm still been trying to beat Biohazard. Which Biohazard? I'm talking about um, Resident Evil Biohazard. Right, seven or eight. No, Resident Evil Biohazard. I know. I know that's what I'm saying. It's, I know that's number seven. Well, whichever's the one where they got to have dinner. And everybody, yeah, that's seven. Like, that's seven. Yeah, Village is number eight. Yeah, I'm in the process of doing that right now. I only try to play one genre type game at a time when it comes to like RPGs and stuff. Really? Yeah, because you get lost and then you start thinking about too much and then forgetting maps and all types. Oh, I also like Dead Cells. That game is cool. Dead Cells is so good. I, so, so you're a Metroidvania person as well too. You like you like the road games. Where, like, the story keeps changing as you keep playing it. Love games like that. Yeah, like that game. One of my games I've been playing called Neon Abyss. I like that game. Neon Abyss is cool, oh, too. Yeah. That's Have you like, played Halo Knight? Uh, a rogue -like? Yeah, that's huh? rogue -like. it's a rogue game. It's a rogue game, yeah. Neon Abyss. Hey, did you play Hades yet? Yeah. Hades is dope. Hades is fantastic. Uh, Hollow Knight is good. Love Hollow Knight. Um, Hollow Knight so I like good. that other game, too. Um, Enter the Gungeon. 
Have you played it? I have not. I put, I put a shit ton of rogue. I put a shit ton, a shit ton of rogue. Well, I don't think it's a rogue game, but Enter the Gungeon is like a click point shooter type game. Um, it changes and the maps change and stuff each round. Like you can't never really play the same game twice. Mm. It's really cool. They got different bosses and you pretty much go up levels. Gotcha. It's kind of like Neon Abyss, but. Like, as far as everything being random, that's why mm-hmm. I like games like that where I can't just know I can go here and get that and go here right. and get that. Now, these are the games you play on stream? You stream with these games? Uh, Yeah, I was streaming them for a while, but when I started back streaming not too long ago, mm-hmm. I started with uh, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex. I just started playing Rocket League. Like, Oh, you said Apex. Who you yeah. messing with Apex? Who's your person? Lifeline. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's my girl right there. Boba. Lifeline or Valkyrie. Them, them are two. I'm Loba all day. Loba gets you get your crew <laughs> right on point. Oh. Are you serious? Loba get dude, once we get into a good area, you open up shot, come get what you need, son. I got you. Yeah, Loba okay, but it's always random though. It's not like a guarantee. And it's not multiple items, so not everybody, if you if I already go and get the item that I might need and I need it, and it's only one of them in that store, then we stuck without it. Right, but I can keep doing my alternate each area. That's the thing. It, it always puts like especially in the high tier area. So you just not play with a good Loba player. That's all. Like I'm a I'm a great Loba player. Cause I actually play with Wraith. So I'm all about teleporting, get stuff fast, getting up high. Like I'm all about yo, get in, get out. I've been starting to like Ash. Okay. Ash I like Ash. He's pretty okay, and Rampart is cool too. Yeah, Ramp, you can but, never go wrong with Rampart. I used, really with I used to play with Bloodhound though. I used to play with Bloodhound though. Uh, he okay. Well, I like him more than Gibraltar, so yeah. I used to do crypto, but he uh he kind of fell off in like a couple a couple seasons ago. He's not as effective. Yeah, you know? I don't really like his drone for real. Like it's cool, but it's not all that great. Right, plus a good docking set him out too. A good docker set. Watching him shut that shit out real quick. No, so it's like yeah, it's cool, but. Plus, and then, but like, then if I feel like I got to win a game, I play Mirage. Mirage, you're going to win. I, I pick Mirage is over. Oh, well, no, I'm, I am good with Mirage. I just, I'm, maybe just because I'll be, when I when the pressure get on because I'm not that good of a defensive player, yeah. I can, um you know, disappear or turn into different little people. Right. And that that be helping me get away when I got to run. I'll be like, skr, skr. The real question is, what are your, what is uh your favorite weapons to play? So I like the 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 forty five. Mm-hmm. I like that over any other pistol. If I'm gonna have a pistol, mm-hmm. I need that one. <laughs> and then, um, dang, I can't remember the name of the gun, but you can attach the thermites to them. The thermites? Uh, you're talking about the rampage? Yeah, there we go. That one. <laughs> I like to do that and charge it. Cause it, it can come, it can help you out in the pinch when you yeah. in that hot zone. Lately, uh, the car was doing really good for me because you can pick between, you know, the two different, you know, uh, yeah. ammo, and then. Um, I'm surprised nobody said the Mozambique. <laughs> Mozambique. Most of us really just use their hands after that point. Like I'm not picking the Mozambique. Up. I mean, if not, I mean, then I'm. I like the car and the um the eight. Yeah. Mm, the I'm all about yeah. the peacemaker and the mastiff. That's all I care about. I'm trying to put people down. Nah, I, I, I always peacemaker. get a sniper rifle if I can. The DMR. DMR is good. And I don't even like using snipers. <laughs> I only like using snipers if I'm like playing battle royale and it's getting close to like the end. Yeah. Then I might pick up a sniper just so in case we got high ground and I see him coming in the open field, you know, you can go ahead and right. Get, get, get that nick out and knock him out. Yeah, it ain't too many ways they could go and go ahead and buzz that out. That's cool. So you don't play your rock you play Rocket League on stream? Huh? You don't play Rocket League on stream? I was that's what I was doing before we joined the stream. That's why I had to call Kimmy. I was like, look, I'm I'm online right now. I'm almost done with this match. I'm getting on right after that. Oh, yeah. Like, at first, I didn't like the game, but actually, when I started, like, 
peeping the physics of it and like yeah. how to like really play it, it start like I start liking it. I'm up there scoring like five goals, like games and stuff, like getting five goals a game type stuff. He's out here just running things. <laughs> I remember when I first played Rocket League, I kept flipping over and doing that double bounce flip because I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> My friend had to help me like figure out how to throw the ball and shoot it. Like, I want to play Fall Guys. I'm mad that they was supposed oh. to. They, came, they was supposed to Ben came out with the uh, what's the name version, but they never did. With the free version or something? No, it was supposed to come out on. Um, it was supposed to come out on. Um, what you call it? Oh, um, yeah, but it never did. Mm. I think it's on the PlayStation. That's why. I mean, but, yeah. but I know you said earlier that you your favorite top one of the games is Smash. Though, who you rocking with? Oh, um, Pikachu. That's number one. And no matter what system it is, Pikachu. I'm gonna take Pikachu throughout every system and and and, and do some spanking on that. And then you know, my secondary. I mean, I am really beastie with Luigi. Um, as far as any system, Luigi. But you know, then we get into the newer games like Brawl and Up. Then you know, I'm gonna add Olimar to the mix. Yeah. You know, then I might mix it up with some Toon Link or something because I like Toon Link better than the real Link. Yeah. I like real Link because he's strong and got like reach and stuff, but he's also slow. And kind of clunky. Yeah. And his upbeat don't do it doesn't stretch as far as Toon Link's upbeat does. Mm. And Toon Link is faster. Like he got a faster parry, yeah. faster roll, faster block. Right. Wind Waker Link. Is that Wind Waker? Yeah, or is that's, Wind Waker? My, that's my guy. I like him. Um but that, once again, Samus like, shuts all that shit down though. Definitely shuts don't. All that shit. I, I don't I don't don't Again, let me charge up my bus. Don't let me charge up my cannon, fam. Once I charge the cannon, yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah, see, and, and with Pikachu, I won't. You won't even have time. I'm gonna be throwing thunderbolts all over the place. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be throwing thunderbolts. I'm all dropping over bombs the place. all day, and then I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna jump out the way, charge up, go back to battle, charge up, go back to battle. I do hit and see, run tackles. I do hit and run tackles. When you play, yeah, maybe when you play like the kindergartners or you like doing like. <laughs> Early league, but you ain't finna pull that off on me. Don't, I do it to grown play. folks all day. Grown folks, get, yeah, get that you know what I'm saying? Because then I might, I don't make, I might just have to go ahead and just get banjo and kukui, man. It's over with. You ain't getting none of that off. It's over with, bro. That's like picking up duck hunt, man. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Just waiting for the land. Boom. Duck hunt. Nah, not with banjo, bro. Banjo got reach and he diverse. Now, now, have you got all the deals here? No. You say what? Have you got the DLC characters? Like Sora and yeah, everybody? But I, yeah, oh, I like Sora. That's well, I mean, I like Kingdom Hearts, so I had to get Sora. Yeah. But you want me to tell you who OP? Kazuya. Boy, that man is OP. So is Sephiroth? <laughs> nah, not really. He's not that he not that he not that OP. Like he ain't like Kazuya. Like Kazuya. He's literally a Tekken thunder. character. He's literally a Tekken character. It's mad. He has all his moveset. Yeah, it's crazy. But, <laughs> Bro, you pull that 10 hit combo off, it's over with. Over. I said they put his 10 hit combo in the game. Yep. Go ahead. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yo, they are wow. And they gave him his devil, wild. they gave him his devil trap. I'm like, yo, I just yeah, bro. That's why I was like, bro. That's that's they they did something. When Sora came, I wasn't even gonna buy no more DLCs, but I was like, dang it. All right, I'm just gonna here to snatch this one up too. That was the last one, man. That was definitely the last one. I had to get Ken, had to get Ryu. You know, I, I just yeah. had to. It was just a it's just a thing that you just gotta do. Yeah. Did like, you beat you... the game? Yeah, of course. Like, did you unlock all the unlock stuff? I have everybody. I have everybody in the game. I have all the unlock stuff. I have all the different characters, all the different character skins. I I, I play Smash, man. Smash is my that's my go-to. But now I've been playing a little bit more of the Nickelodeon game right now, too. Nickelodeon Smash. Nah, yeah, we don't know about it. <laughs> it's all good. But that's on PlayStation or something? It's on everything. It's on everything. Oh, yeah, I don't know What's about it no called? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon All-Stars. Oh, that must be like the little what's the name version of Brawl Hollow. Yeah, it's, it's literally the version of Smash. It's got freaking SpongeBob. It's got the Avatars. It's got yeah, Iron Monsters. It's not the same. 
I was looking at the gameplay and it looked a little slow. No, it's, it's fast. It's fast. And also, you can block from both sides, too. You say you can block from both sides. Yep. It's still like Smash, which just makes a bubble. You can actually block from each side. I mean, but that's still the same thing, though. No, no. Not when you're trying to get, you can get crossed up, or you can still get crossed up in freaking Smash. Not in this. No, that bubble, as long as that bubble up, it don't matter where. Dude, you want a bubble, I'm going to grab you. That's the thing. I can get an air grab with Samus in a bubble, grab you, toss you, and then we go into a combo. Yeah, yeah. I still see you be playing kindergartners, bro. No, I don't. I'm, 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 I'm trying to I play to win. I'm going to do a combo, get you at 30%. And I'm going to hit you with my buster key. I'm going to hit you with my, my cannon. That's going to hit you at 72%. Like, let, me, let me show y'all these moves right quick. Come here. Let me show you right quick. <laughs> I get in. I get out, my friend. So, yeah. So, so speaking of Pokemon, if you got a top six, who's your top six? If you go on a battle in real life, trying to be whatever the tournament. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it 151 with the legendaries. We'll keep it simple. It's like 800 right. of these cats now. No, so. I'm not. I mean, we got to go. A couple of ones that I like are past the, the 151. So, look, I, I need Celebi. Okay. I need Entei. Okay. That's I, need, I need um, Pikachu. You know, go ahead. I need Dragonite. And last but not least, I need Lugia. I'm about to say, where's the bird at? Where's the bird? <laughs> Lugia. Yeah, see, I'm running all ghosts, man. I'm, I'm Gengar's already. Out of all of the birds, I got to go with Lugia. I like Homo, but I, it's too much stuff around Homo that don't make sense, man. Yeah, but see, I'd rather just have Articuno so I can just freeze your ass and knock it out and keep moving. Yeah, but you know, I could freeze you with Lugia too. It's an ice psychic water. I mean, okay. ice Switzerland. But it's not effective against Articuno, my dude. <laughs> it is effective against Articuno. I'm an ice I'm, a, do, I'm an ice This Pokemon. man can do psychic, bro. <laughs> and then Dragonite, we got the freaking Dragon Rage, Dragon Beam. I mean, I like Gyarados. I'd rather get a Gyarados instead of a Dragonite. Or I got my ghost dragon with Dragonite can swim and fly. But this Gyarados, Gyarados can fly too. Gyarados cannot fly. Yes, he can. No, he cannot. Yes, he, bro. You can literally. He does fly. Yes. Mate. And then I got guaranteed it anyway. I got guaranteed it too. That's because of special Pokemon TV shows where they doing some wild stuff. It's canon. It's super, super canon. The one thing about Blur Suit we always talk about, we always talk about what's your favorite bowl of ramen. So what's your favorite bowl of ramen? Oh. Are you more of a cereal person? I often say I'm not really a ramen go-to guy. I don't like soups. I like cereal. A, ladies and gentlemen, that's a first for here. That's a first. That a man chose cereal over a good bowl of ramen. Oh, look, man. That's where I come from, man. So, he likes the sugary goodness. All right, he, all right, he doesn't like the soup. He wants some sugar. So what's so what's yeah, the oh, so what's oh. your cereal? What are you rocking with? Are uh, you a single see. session cereal guy, or are you mixing flavors? Oh, bro, I mix the flavors all the time. I can't just have one. It got to be two or more. It's just uh, that's how I like. So things. two or more cereals? Okay, I need to know what what, what you mixing. Okay, with. show us what you got going on. Oh, what you, uh, let's see. Let me take you to my personal cereal stash. Oh, personal cereal stash. Yeah. Oh, what we got? We got Apple Jacks, Jack. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh huh, Corn Pops, Fruit Loops, and more Apple Jacks. Three Jack. bags in one. There's Fruit Loop marshmallows. What is that? French Toast okay. Crunch, Captain Crunch, Fruit mm. Loop. Perfect so what? Place. Okay, so what mix would you, you not do? What's a bad there. mix? This is a mix I already got pre mixed for my. You pre mix your cereal? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you come home and mix it up. I'm gonna get this ready <laughs> for my cereal consumption. Yeah, it's all that way. I don't gotta try to do it every time. Like you know me. I'm... So what's your best combination of cereal that you like? Uh, depends on the day, but if we gotta go with the OG, I'm gonna give you my OG mix, and that, that oh, 
was swinging. The OG mix consists of. Um, let's see. We got. It, I gotta tell you this, and it gotta be done. It it gotta be done this particular way, or okay. it ain't fly. All right. So, the first and foremost thing, the first is the bottom layer. It gotta be some Captain Crunch. All right. You don't. You don't. You, don't, you, must, you must like cutting your mouth up with Captain Crunch. No, listen, I'm trying to tell you how to do it. Okay. Just because you got a soft mouth, don't mean nothing. <laughs> got the velvet. No, I'm just talking. All right. So the bottom layer, Captain Crunch. Yep. Then the layer on top of the Captain Crunch can be cinnamon toast or French toast crunch, or you can do a mix of both if you have it and just want to be a little extra. <laughs> then you put a top layer. And some frosted flakes, mm -hmm. and if you want to be a little extra, you could add some crunch berry, Captain Crunch at the top, or you could use some apple jacks. Mm. Yeah, my stomach's hurting. Thinking about that, <laughs> it, it got to be done like that because when you um, when you mix it, it, and when you pour the milk. The milk is going to hit the frosted flakes, which is going to take the frosting from the <laughs> frosted flakes. Yeah. And it's going to bring it down into the cinnamon. What happened? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can still hear you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. My bad. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take the flavor down, and it's going to go down in, like, levels. You know what I'm saying? No, sir, I do not. Because I've never mixed. I've only mixed two. You mix. You just mix four in one pot sitting. Four to possibly six. Right. <laughs> like for me, like the stuff I mix is like I mix super simple stuff that makes sense. Like, wait, why does that not make sense though? I just gave you the whole flavor recipe. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a, that's a lot of damage to the mouth, my friend. That's a lot of damage. It's not. You ain't supposed to eat it right away. You're supposed to let it simmer, so the flavors can mix in. And as you turn in it, the milk softens up the Captain Crunch. Yeah, I'm more like Reese's Pieces and French to, and in um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Golden Grams and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I keep it simple. I you mean, I, big like you don't like Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles? Reese's. No, no, no. What? Those are <laughs> they're great. Okay. They're okay, but they them don't have no substance. And I ain't gonna lie, I will say what it does, but it don't it don't do too well on the return. So they make good cereals. Eat. They just what? like air. They just like cocoa pebbles and fruity pebbles is just like rice pop cereal with dye. Yeah, and I, love right, dude, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love rice Look, if treats. If I'm gonna go that way, I might as well throw some rice crispy treat cereal into the mix. You feel me? I love rice. See, I love kicks and rice crispy and that little sugar. It's over. O-B-A. Have like you had Rice Krispie Treat cereal? Yeah, it was real good. Oh, yeah. But I'm a classic. I like French toast. I like Apple Jacks. And I love... But now as I'm older, I'm more like in the older cereals now. So like Raisin Bran Crunch. Yep, I was about to say that. <laughs> oh, get out of here. I eat Total Phaser. Exactly. I like Total. <laughs> There's this one called Simple Four. I like that one. It's just like... Um, some kind of yogurty crunch, cranberries, and uh, almonds. Do they, do they still make the cornflakes, the strawberries? That shit was banging. Yeah, disrespecting the, the cereal game. Oh, right now they're selling uh Cheerios with strawberry flavor on it too for uh, Valentine's hey, honey Day. Honey Cheerios is still a go-to. It's still a go-to. That's safe. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> so okay, so do you drink the milk afterwards, or you just let? Are you done with it? It depends on how I feel. Sometimes I might get some Oreos and dunk that in there. Oh wow! See, that's what I like about that's what I like about Cocoa Pebbles. Like you got the chocolate milk now. You got some chocolate milk. You know, I guess you're not a chocolate person. You're not a chocolate person. I like chocolate, but it's just too much chocolate. Like, because then it's gonna overpower the other flavors. That's what you eat it by itself, Yoshi. <laughs> Then it's just you can have one cereal, milk. Yoshi. It's okay. You can just have it's one. like back in it's air pop cereal. Like, so you really, you Cocoa really Pebbles is not air pop. Milk. Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles is air pop. Yeah, Cocoa Pebbles, Reese's. Air pop, air pop. 
Like for me, my best combination is still cinnamon toast trust and golden grams. That, Both that of those are like fun. I hate to say this, but those are balls. All of those are ball type <laughs> cereals that absorb all the milk and get mushy squishy when it's all the milk in it. Exactly. I, I want soft cereal. I don't like cutting that, my throat. That's bad. You want soft ball cereal. <laughs> pause. Pause. <laughs> no, we do not. Not here. <laughs> not this guy. Uh, well, I mean, it was literally two different balls type cereals, Kicks and, and Reese's. Hey, Kicks kick tested mother approved, my friend. I like I like Kicks, but I can't do Reese's. I don't like I like Reese's peanut butter, but I don't like Reese's pieces. I don't like them. Mm-hmm. I prefer M and M's over Reese's pieces. Why? I, I'm a peanut butter. I'm, I'm not a peanut butter head. Like. I like peanut butter when it's needed, you know, like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You need peanut butter to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not otherwise, otherwise it's this jelly and bread. <laughs> I'm not just well, it's toast. Yeah, yeah, otherwise it's like toast. That, but otherwise it's just toast. I'm not just willingly just eating peanut butter, even if it's chocolate. It's too peanut butter. I tried to eat Reese's peanut butter, but it's just too peanut buttery. I don't like, like, I'm a sweeter. Like, that's why I like cereal over ramen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like sweet flavors and tastes. Like, you see, I was just sitting here eating Twinkies and shit, Twinkies bro. Twinkies Mountain like, Dew. That's a very healthy it's meal. Real. It's, it's <laughs> real, bro. Like, sweets. I love sweets. So you're a dessert person after dinner then. You, you definitely have oh. some pie. <laughs> bro, I love pie. So favorite pie then? We talking about kiwi? We talking about what's your favorite pie? I can't really mention my favorite pie, but um, the cobbler person. Nah, I like chocolate chip pie. I mean, there's a pie I love above none else, but besides that kind of pie, give me some. <laughs> um, give me a chocolate chip pie. I mean, what about cheesecakes? I'm a cheesecake person. No. I, they okay. I just don't like that substance. I don't like the texture of cheesecake in my mouth. No, it's me. like a. <laughs> you feel like an old, you feel like an old person eating it. That's why you feel like, like mm. uh, yeah, it's just like thick and a weird. I don't know. But it's like this. But it's the same texture as peanut butter, though. Not that. I, did I literally just say I'm not a peanut butter? I do not. <laughs> like it, it's. You like anything that make your mouth feel like. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, like I ain't trying to like anything that. And so I gotta like honey. Honey is okay or nah? I like to mix honey and tea and stuff, but I ain't just dipping stuff in honey and eating it. That ain't... <laughs> so you know, yeah, so are you just not a dip yeah, person? Yeah. Like you don't just dip like chips and dip. You just not a dip person. Nope, I like flavored stuff. Wow, that's all good. So other than that, though, so what else you got working on, man? Because we're coming to the end of the show. Let's want to see what else you got. What you working on right now? Uh, right now, bro, I've just been um, my music for thoughts project dropped, and uh, I'm gonna be releasing a project soon called SNES and Back to the Future. But that's gonna be a series of mixtapes. Mm-hmm. I'm working with my boy China. Back to the Future is gonna be a series of mixtapes in which we're going to be traveling different time periods and different time periods and all of the music. It's going to be sampled from different time periods. I even did a couple of like Disney um, movie samples and stuff. So like in one of the projects in the uh, Back to the Future series, I'm like sampling like Aristocrats and like um, Oliver and Company and like those kind of movies. And like in another one, I'm kind of sampling and doing a bunch of like swing jazz and hip hoppy swing vibes. So... Yeah, SNES is pretty much a project that's all like uh, video game influenced and stuff. Samples like, you know, uh, Hyrule Castle and like uh, Sonic. Let's see, we did Sonic Aquatic Zone. Um, we got Guile. We got Ken. You know, it's just, we got quite a bit out here now. So, but that's, that's SNES. And SNES stands for Street. Nerd entertainment sounds. Nice. Oh, 
that's cool. I like, I like that. that a very lot. smart. Very, very I, smart. I see that in a t-shirt ASAP. Exactly. <laughs> So tell everybody how to find you, Yoshi, how to get a hold of you if they want to contact you for booking. They had everything out for us. Well, <laughs> you can find me in St. Louis smoking no dust, hitting no gloves, hot tea. I don't know why that song came to my head when you said it. You <laughs> can good. find me in St. Louis. What song was that? Oh, yeah. Down, down, oh. baby. I'm oh, street in the rainbow. Oh, street in the rainbow. Let it go. Okay. What? Shimmy, shimmy, Coco Puff. Do we Cocoa now? Puff. <laughs> no. <we don't. laughs> yes. Anyway, you can find me at YoshiCrew.com. That's my website. You can subscribe to my website. And uh, being a subscriber will give you access to a bunch of content that you just can't get anywhere else. So you can follow me at King Yoshi Man at Instagram. Yoshi Crew ENT. You can search that hashtag or... Use that to find other different uh, social media accounts from various members of the community. And um, make sure you follow our hashtag too, Yoshi Crew ENT, on Instagram and other social media. You can find us all over the place from Periscope to Twitch to uh, Twitter and Facebook and all those other things. And uh, yeah, if you guys gain any, you know, you can add me, King Yoshi Man 117 or King Yoshi Man Epic or. EA or you know PlayStation is God Body Yoshi, um, mm -hmm. but I don't really play on PlayStation that much. So just going to let you guys know. <laughs> but you know, if, if you guys want to get you know scraped on and a little bit of Xbox buffoonery, then you know add me King Yoshi Man One One Seven. Um, I like to play with Mike. I prefer you play with Mike if you do, but if not and you know how to talk without the mic, that's great too. Um, yeah, you know, that's where you can find me and stuff, you know. Other than that, you can just find me out here trying to catch them all, you know. <laughs> well, Pokemon. Trying to catch Pokemon, y'all. Nothing else, nothing else. Well, once again, Yoshi, thank you for coming. This has been your boy, T-Fields, here at KFL Geek. Here with the mighty Chemical. We're about to lay it down. This is Season 2, Episode 7 of Blur 2. Later, Taters. My arse! My arse!